The forefront of my armory is a positive mindset. This belongs to you. It's the most powerful tool out there. I generally believe you can cut my arms and legs off, you can do whatever you want to me, but you cannot take away how I think, you cannot take away my mind. People say, how do you have a positive mindset? You know, how are you not in, in constant battle with yourself all the time? Because that's what we do, we're in constant you know, competition with ourselves. If you're strong enough to not let a situation define you, well, good on you. If you're courageous enough not to let a person define you, then oof, that leaves one thing, right? You define yourself. And you hear me talk about being, you feel invincible. And I used to think it was because I was such a good soldier that I felt invincible, but it wasn't. It was the team that I had behind me. I thought I figured out what teamwork was from a young age of 16 all the way up to the special forces. Yeah, I know what teamwork is. It's just getting the best soldiers in the world, putting them together, getting the job done. It doesn't work like that. Teamwork is about being dedicated and committed to each other. Because you've all got the same goal. It's just you're all there for each other. It's that natural trust, that natural bond that that makes you feel invincible. Fear is everyday part of life. You're gonna feel it till the day you die. You know, a lot of people experience fear once and they freeze and they never want to visit it again. And if you don't experience fear, if you don't challenge fear, then you're not gonna learn about yourself. You're not gonna learn what you're capable of, where you can push yourself, where your boundaries are. Therefore, it's important that you expose fear when you can, make it work for you. Now, I think that, you know, we're being sort of structured in a way to think and how to act. And ultimately, we're all different. We've all got different fears, you know, different ways that we tackle things. It's ultimately just about being honest with yourself, not letting people dictate what you do or situations dictate what you do. It's obviously defining yourself, taking charge of yourself, taking charge of your emotion. And fear being the number one emotion that stops us from achieving everything. Whoever says they're fearless is, is lying. You can't be fearless. It's obviously your body working against itself. Your mind's saying one thing and your body's counter-reacting it. It's almost as if I'm, my mind's saying, right, you've got to do this. My body's saying no, and I'm like, we're gonna, we're gonna commit to this. How you sort of harness fear is committing to it. That's the hardest bit that people get wrong. They feel fear and they go, Phew. they go nowhere near it, they walk away from it. But once you commit to fear, ultimately what you're doing is you're committing to your emotions, you're committing to yourself. When you expose fear, and I've had to do it in the military, I've had to expose it on a daily basis going into a combat zone, and you take a layer off of it. And then when you take a layer off of it, you learn about the emotion, you learn about your emotion, you learn about yourself, and therefore you grow from it. What it is, is people think I'm an adrenaline junkie and I'm, I, I chase fear and I chase risk. Ultimately, when you're at that risk of life and death, there's no, it's black and white. Life is so simple, it's so uncomplicated. It's the purest form of life. When you're in a situation, whether it's life or death, like I was in Afghanistan, like I was in Everest, you feel peaceful because there's no complications around you. So it's not actually a, an adrenaline fueled junky thing that I wanted to do. It's that, that, that feeling of euphoria, that feeling of peace, because life is at its purest form. You're either gonna live or you're gonna die. There's no complications whatsoever. For example, I say to people who are scared of heights, you know, they might be stood near a cliff, okay? And they're, they're feeling scared and they get carried away with, fixated on, on, on achieving the objective. I'm like, get that out of your head. You know, take those two footsteps closer than you've ever been before. You're exposing fear there. You're taking a layer off of it. You're getting closer and closer to the nut. You're understanding more and more about that emotion. 
i.e. yourself. A lot of people drain themselves psychologically and physically days before because of fear. I'm very much someone that I don't live in the past and I don't certainly don't live in the future, you know. I live in the now, I seize every opportunity now. There's so many bankable moments that we just let go by us on a daily basis. I'm very much someone in the now, I live in the now. So why don't we do it to ourselves? You know, when your body's asking you a, a, you, you a question, the only person that really holds the answer, you can be guided and directed, is, is yourself. So be honest with yourself, and it will stop you from having a victim sort of mindset, as in going, actually, I'm a lot more capable than I thought I was. We're incredible humans, you know, we're capable of so much more. Be honest with yourself, grasp fear, and make it work for you. The purpose in life is you, is this journey of self-discovery. And that is through trying things, that is through failure, that is through picking yourself back up. But do not be scared of failure. The moment you embrace failure and you realise it's an everyday part of life, then you're not scared of it. The more you try, the more you fail. Granted. However, the more you fail, the more you bounce back. And the more you bounce back, the stronger you become. I think it's all about positive um, thinking, especially in the military, especially going to war and especially going into these negative situations. You know, war, fighting, it's, it's negative. If you take that on with a negative mindset, you're going to go one way and one way only, and that's very quickly going to go down. You have to attack negatives with positives, okay? And like I said, even with war, you know, there's nothing really positive about it apart from, you know, protecting your country and your countrymen and women. but. You have to take that and look at it and flip that into a, into a positive. And it all happens with your mind. But it's also stripping life down to, to basics. You know, we're complicated human beings and we add complications on top of that. You know, it's almost just accepting or acknowledging a situation, an emotion, for whatever it is. Go, acknowledging it, processing it and executing it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's quite a simple process that I use in everything that I do with my life. Everything is, is, it's a numbers game, you know. When I was stacking up against the door, my initial thought was, when I go through that door, I know there's someone stood on the other side with a weapon. When I go through that door, what are the chances of that person, that untrained person, getting one or two bullets off on his weapon? Okay, the chances are quite high. What are the chances of one of, the, one of those bullets hitting me in the head and killing me outright? That's very slim. You know, it might hit me in my body armor, it might hit me in the, in the legs. So what are the chances of me actually dying? It's slim, because I'm the aggressor, I'm the trained soldier. By the time I get in and finish the job, or my power's on my back, he will come in and finish the job. So the likelihood of that, them getting a kill shot is very, very slim. Fear is always there. Um, fear is, you know, people who say they can conquer fear are, are, are liars. You can't conquer fear. But what you can do, you can harness fear. And it's, it, you make it work for you. Fear doesn't get, fear is an emotion that we all have. You know, I could talk to everyone in the crowd here and they would explain fear to me. We'll all have the same um, explanation of fear. But it's how we layer it. You know, we have a horrible tendency to complicate everything that happens, right? Fear, acknowledge the fear for what it is, but then we layer it, we go, right, am I gonna die? Am I gonna come out of this alive? Am I gonna see my family again? That's putting negatives on negatives. The moment, so you strip, the emotion, you strip the situation down to, to what it is. You don't complicate things. And when you can do that, that life almost becomes black and white. It's not, but it almost becomes so, so, so simple. And that's how I think. I just think in the simplest terms, I don't complicate things. The purpose in life is you, is this journey of self-discovery. And that is through trying things, that is through failure, that is through picking yourself back up. But do not be scared of failure. 
The moment you embrace failure and you realize it's an everyday part of life, then you're not scared of it. The more you try, the more you fail, granted. However, the more you fail, the more you bounce back. And the more you bounce back, the stronger you become. How you sort of harness fear is committing to it. That's the hardest bit that people get wrong. They feel fear and they go, Whoosh. they go nowhere near it, they walk away from it. But once you commit to fear, ultimately what you're doing is you're committing to your emotions, you're committing to yourself. When you expose fear, and I've had to do it in the military, I've had to expose it on a daily basis going into a combat zone, and you take a layer off of it. And then when you take a layer off of it, you learn about the emotion, you learn about your emotion, you learn about yourself, and therefore you grow from it. What it is, is people think I'm an adrenaline junkie, and I'm, I, I chase fear and I chase risk. Ultimately, when you're at that risk of life and death, there's no, it's black and white. Life is so simple, it's so uncomplicated. It's the purest form of life. When you're in a situation, whether it's life or death, like I was in Afghanistan, like I was in Everest, you feel peaceful because there's no complications around you. So it's not actually a, an adrenaline fueled junkie thing that I wanted to do. It's that, that, that feeling of euphoria, that feeling of peace because life is at its purest form. You're either going to live or you're going to die. There's no complications whatsoever. For example, I say to people who are scared of heights, you know, they might be stood near a cliff, okay, and they're, they're feeling scared, and they get carried away with, fixated on, on, on achieving the objective. I'm like, get that out of your head. You know, take those two footsteps closer than you've ever been before. You're exposing fear there. You're taking a layer off of it. You're getting closer and closer to the nut. You're understanding more and more about that emotion, i.e. yourself. A lot of people drain themselves psychologically and physically days before because of fear. I'm very much someone that I don't live in the past and I don't certainly don't live in the future, you know. I live in the now, I seize every opportunity now. There's so many bankable moments that we just let go by us on a daily basis. I'm very much someone in the now, I live in the now. So why don't we do it to ourselves? You know, when your body's asking you a, a, you, you a question, the only person that really holds the answer, you can be guided and directed, is, is yourself. So be honest with yourself and it will stop you from having a victim sort of mindset as in, going, actually, I'm a lot more capable than I thought I was. We're incredible humans, you know, we're capable of so much more. Be honest with yourself, grasp fear and make it work for you. With resilience, it's not being afraid of, of failure, not being afraid of fear, and ultimately challenging that. You know, ultimately learning from it and, uh, and exposing yourself to um, hardship, to suffering, to, uh, to adversity. That's where resilience is built up from. It doesn't have to be um, through a military program. It has to be just through everyday life, but ultimately it's about identifying that situation, taking ownership of it, holding yourself accountable and, and tackling it face on. A lot of people shy away or they have the easy option and they choose the easy, easy option and therefore you will not build resilience if you do that. The easy option is, uh, is something in life that's presented to us on a plate where if you decide to take, you know, decide to step off that path and to challenge yourself, that's where you build up resilience because ultimately you expose who you are, you expose your emotions and you learn to deal with them. That's what resilience is. It doesn't have to be climbing Mount Everest, being in the special boat service, being in the special forces, being in the military. It's about taking on challenges that will challenge you and test you. And that's what life's about, you know, you push those limits, you, 
you learn something, you live in this new exciting space. Again, you push it again. You live in this new exciting space, you learn something, you grow. And that's what life's about, is just constantly just pushing these limits, little by little. Um, because you will learn and you will grow from it. First time you might be absolutely petrified, you might sit still, you might freeze. Do it again. And it might freeze and you might take a step forward. Learn how to control your emotions. It's like with anything else. That exposure, that, you know, I'm an extreme doer. I do, 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 do. I expose, 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 expose. And every time I unlayer something. So that's, 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 you know, that's the thought process that I have, whether that's emotional resilience, mental resilience, controlling fear, controlling failure. There's, they're all part of life. You know, the big things that stop us in life, that stop us from achieving is failure and fear. You know, we, we fear, boom, okay, we won't even go there. Challenge it. You know, because like you said, once you get past that and you feel like you've got that sense of achievement, even if it's a small sense, even if you fail, but you learn something about yourself, you're gonna grow. Therefore, you re-attack. You re-expose that. And then you're gonna learn something. That's what life's about, is this, this small progression in the right direction in life. You know, you want to be doing that till the day you die because that's what that's your purpose in life. And I believe that through adversity and, and hardship, you will be resilient both emotionally and, and mentally. <laughs>